All right, let's learn about how to create, install, or delete patterns. Uh, first, we'll talk about creating a pattern. So, if you desire to have a pattern, you can open a new Photoshop document and pretty much do anything that you want to do. Uh, let's choose a, a shape, for example. This one looks like it'll make a good pattern. So I will draw a shape. And let's merge these two together. Um, Actually, I think I will fill this with 50% gray. This background layer. There we go. And let's fill this with yellow. All right, so let's say I want to make a pattern. All I need to do is merge these into a single layer and then I'll come into the edit menu and say I'd like to define a pattern and you can call it whatever you like I'll call it star zero one or something like along that line so now that's saved as a pattern let me show you how to use that let's do a 8 inches by 10 inch thing and we want to fill it but this time we'll fill it with a pattern and you'll notice that here in the pattern I have the pattern that I just created and there it has filled in as a pattern uh, Anywhere you can use a pattern, uh, say in a style or in a, in a layer effect, that's where you'll have, uh, you'll have that pattern. Now that pattern is stored in the Edit menu, Presets, in the Preset Manager. And so here's where your brushes and everything else are stored. There's our patterns. If I have patterns in here that I don't want, I can select them either by choosing the first one, shift clicking on everything in between, or using my command or control key to pick and choose. I can hit delete. I can save this pattern if I wanted to by saving a set. And it, by default, will save into the Photoshop patterns. But if I wanted to share it with a friend, I could save it to my desktop and call it star zero one. And I'll click done. And so you'll notice that I have a star zero one dot PAT, which is a Photoshop pattern. If I have patterns that I've already downloaded or search for online there are thousands and thousands of free ones there I can install them the same way by going into the edit menu presets preset manager patterns load a pattern and I will come into my And then I can choose a pattern set, which is this one here, and say I'd like to fill with that particular pattern. So that's how you create, delete, or install patterns.